Oh, it's not voluntized anymore. All right, so in this case, um, now we have two complex numbers, but you guys can see there's no operation. Remember when I had subtraction? I told you guys to subtract, right? So you're going to multiply everything. So you could use FOIL, box method, whatever you feel comfortable with. So if you're going to do FOIL, you do first. Let's erase these. Let's do it one at a time. First terms, 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. Outer terms, 7 times 3i is going to be a positive 21i. Inner terms, negative 2i times negative 1 is a positive 2i. And then the last terms is negative 2i times 3i is going to give you a negative 6i squared. Everybody follows me? OK. OK. Now let's combine the terms that we have. So I have negative 7. Well, again, as I mentioned, what's nice about i is you can think of them as just like a variable. 21i plus 2i is going to be plus 23i. And then this is negative 7 times i squared, which we know is negative 1. Do you understand how i squared is negative 1? Well, it's written right up here. Well, this is what we did at the beginning of class. So now, negative 1 times negative 6 is positive 6. So I have negative 7 plus 23i plus 6. Well, now I can combine my real numbers to give me negative 1 plus 23i. And again, the reason why I wrote the number in front of the imaginary number is because that's the way we write complex numbers a plus bi, real component first,